Hello everyone, Tao here. Um, today in this video, let's talk about the uh, uh, TP-Link AC1750 Wi-Fi extender. We're gonna have a look at the uh, uh, the actual unit and also the uh, web interface. Um, I've been using this Wi-Fi extender for uh, well over six months now. I'm very happy with it. And the reason I'm using one of these, although I have you uh, Ubiquiti AC Pro in the house, um, the problem is the the, the location I put the Ubiquiti AC Pro is really close to the ceiling and very close to the sidewall so therefore it can't reach its maximum performance um, therefore I will be needing one of those little guys here okay let's have a look at the unit itself uh, here is the um, actual uh, Wi-Fi extender now here's my hand you can see the comparison at the front uh, there is a WPS button you can press if your router, Wi-Fi router has WPS function, um, it can be connected um, pretty um, straightforward. Now here's uh, three LED indicators, uh, 2.4 gig and 5 gig and the power. And here's the logo at the front. Now just to point out, um, in the UK, uh, or actually in the most household in the UK, the power socket, um, I think the the vertical pin um, is on the top. I think, uh, at least in my in my house, yes. Um, just be aware in some household, the the vertical pin it's inverted or upside down. It's okay. It doesn't look pretty, but you know we we'll do the job. Uh, so more in most household, will be plugged in like this. Okay, on the side, uh, on the side, uh, there's a, a reset button here and also there's a power button and and also LED. Now LED can be a switch on and off just in case um, you don't want light at all. Um, the power button it just simply can switch on, on and off because everything here they all lit up. It's quite bright at night so if you don't want to get disturbed you can switch them off. Now on the back here's the uh, three pin plug on this side. This side uh, has a gigabit ethernet uh, output. It's not input, it is output. So in case you don't want to use the Wi-Fi facility, you can just plug in the cable, um, probably more, more stable and um, better performance. Now you can see on the side, here's a two antenna on each side. Uh, here's another one. At the back, if you just push this little toggle up, the third antenna um, will come up. Uh, so it's three in total. Now on the, the uh, ventilation, just underneath the side antennas, just over here. Okay, at the bottom there's nothing. So yeah, that is the physical. Um, appearance of this Wi-Fi extender. Okay, let's have a look at the uh, web user interface. As you can see from here, um, the model number is uh, RE450, that's TP-Link RE450. As you can see from here, the briefly, the status, uh, here's internet, here's router, here's extender, now here's client. Now, I just want to brief point now the, um, the principle of any Wi-Fi extenders in terms of how it works. Um, think of the uh, Wi-Fi extender as a bridge between two points, um, point A and point B. Now in order, the point A talk to point B um, uh, smoothly, or in, in this case, if it can talk to uh, point B at all, so the, you will need something um, in between. So that is the Wi-Fi extender. Um, always, always place the Wi-Fi extender somewhere in between the two points. So, for instance, you have um, um, the router is in the living room and you want to use in the bedroom upstairs or further down the hallway. So, always place the Wi-Fi extender somewhere in between so it can bridge two networks together. Uh, do not put in the Wi-Fi extender within the room you want to use it will not work that way or it doesn't work properly that way simply because it cannot get the reception or signal from your router within the room you want to use 
So yeah, that is the basic principle. As you can see here, there's the clients. So uh, the Wi-Fi extender here that is um, right now is the 2.4 gig and 5 uh, gigahertz. Um, here is another, um, I would say very useful, fe uh, useful feature is uh, high speed mode. Uh, I'm going to talk about in a sec. Uh, here is the network. Now the network, you can give any network. Uh, or you can use the default network from your Wi-Fi router. Now, region, when you um, first time set it up, uh, they will it will ask you all those questions. Uh, so all you need to do is set up as uh, UK, United Kingdom. Here's the uh, Wi-Fi um, function here. Uh, here's the connect to network. So what this option does is this option will allow the Wi-Fi uh, extender connect to your existing Wi-Fi network. So for this instance, I'm using the uh, 5 gigahertz uh, network. As you can see, the 2.4 gigahertz, I have disabled it. So uh, I'm only using the 5G from the uh, Wi-Fi extender connect to my existing uh, network. Now, extended network is how you're gonna ask the Wi-Fi extender send out a signal. So in my case, I use 2.4 gigahertz um, as the broadcasting uh, Wi-Fi signal from the Wi-Fi extender. Now, here's the access control. You can see from here, you will be able to see everyone is connected to your network and um, network so this is basically um, the entire uh, network setting of the Wi-Fi extender here's the system 2 is time setting LED controls as I mentioned early on um, you can physically switch the LED on and off in case you don't want to get disturbed and also you can um, manually or automatically um, let the lights go on and off here's the um, time control it's the firmware upgrade and backup and restore uh, admin I would strongly suggest you change the default password to your desired one just in case someone can access to your uh, web extender is the system log uh, here's basically the um, system log. If anything go wrong or anything the system behaves, that will be logged into this. It's very, very good for troubleshooting. High speed mode. Uh, what is high speed mode uh, from TP-Link Map Extender? Um, it basically means it uses uh, one of the bands to receive a reception uh, signal from your router and the other band sends out the uh, signal from the extender. Imagine the extender, the processing uh, units inside. A, if if a receive and broadcasting two bands at the same time, so it will have more process uh, to do at the same time. Okay. Now, if it divide the job uh, equally, so therefore say the five gig and four gig, to receive and send. So the processing unit within the uh, extender will divide the, the process equally. So that will actually increase the efficiency um, of the processing unit. Uh, so therefore, it will increase performance as well as increase the um, stability or reliability um, of the Wi-Fi within house. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, high speed mode is um, I personally think it's pretty good um, option, especially if you have uh, uh, quite a lot of uh, Wi-Fi devices at home that will also eliminate certain interference uh, within within the house or maybe around you, your neighbors as well. That's it guys. Uh, this is the end of today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did enjoy, please uh, give a thumbs up and subscribe. If you didn't like it, you know what to do. Um, hopefully I will make more video like this in the future. See you guys soon.